Right, so this video is uh, pretty much all about the roof chop on this 35 pickup. So we're going to show you how we go about it from the design through the bracing up to make sure it doesn't move, the actual chop, uh, and it doesn't continue all the way through. Obviously, we've got a lot of work to go still um, at the end, like once we've done the uh, initial chop, but this is going to give you an idea of how we go about the process. So if all the frame comes off, then the car will be floppy. So we're going to make it stiff, pull it off, the old brace, and we'll put the roof back on. Yeah. Right, so that one's the original height of the truck, obviously. Mm -hmm. Then I've mopped it up real quick just with this one. It brings the roof down about three and three quarter inches, three and a half, three and three quarter. And then I just referred back to the drawing. Looks like it's gonna be a little bit smaller to me. Come back here and this one is exactly on four inches. Just under four inches, Sam. 98. By the time we've got a grinder cut on either side of it, it'll be exactly yeah. four inches. We've gone ahead and set up these wheels and tyres on this truck while we're doing the chop just to give us an idea of some of the proportions. Um, if we go ahead and just chop the cab without any of the wheels or tyres or anything else on the cab, it's a bit hard to see proportion wise. So these are from the US from a uh, company called ET Wheels. They're an indie wheel, uh, 18 by 8 on the rear and 16 by 6 is on the front to give us a bit of that big and little hot rod, old school type look. Uh, we like them, we reckon they're going to do the job. Um, so with that done, we go ahead and start the chop. That's not a farm truck, is it? Yeah. You know, 10 gallon hat fitting under that. Mm. I think they know what they're doing. And the roof is a little bit shorter. So what we can do is we can slice it through the center and then we can move it backwards and then we put a strip in the roof or a zigzag strip. But we may address this the Aussie uh, roofs here are a bit more peaked, the American US cabs are a bit rounder. So we may reshape the back of this cab. And then maybe in there is there, instead of going I think you'll still be able to see yeah. Yeah, just.
out of the initial chop on the roof of this 35. We ended up going four inches out of the back. We ended up taking four and a half out of the front, just to rake the, the front end down a little bit. Um, come around the back, we shortened them in the inch and a half and brought the whole thing down by two inches to reduce this gap. Um, and we've just done this by just Stand it back, cut a little bit and just see what looks right rather than, you know, go for a hard and fast measurement. We've mocked up the tray as well. It's been short and about 300 mil taken out of it. 300 mil taken out. Six inches.